Hey guys, Andrew here with KnifeHub.com and today we're going to do something a little different. Um, instead of a knife review, you're going to get one on this knife um, shortly. But uh, we're going to treat the leather sheath for this Bark River Ultralight Bushcrafter. I've been using this a little bit. Um, I watched one YouTube video and read a few uh, blog posts on treating these and a lot of people recommended... Uh, Hubbard shoe grease, so uh, let's uh, give it a try and get into it and see how it goes. Alright guys, so just keep in mind that uh, we're going to be learning together. If you've done this before, this video might be more... Uh, entertaining than educational and if you've never done this before i hope it ends up being educational um, above all it'll probably be educational for me as it's something i haven't done before and i'm doing my first ever attempt on camera so keep in mind that uh, i'm not by any means a professional we're going to see how this turns out if it turns out well you could uh, do what i did if it turns out terrible well you'll know what not to do and uh, we'll try again maybe so uh, let's jump in all right, guys, so um, let's go over what you need. Obviously, you'll need a leather sheath. This one's untreated, pretty nice sheath. I've had this on my belt for about a week now. Not really much use, but as you can see, it's got it's got a little bit of wear. I've got a couple sheets of white paper to put down, um, just in case this gets a little sloppy. Hubbard shoe grease, um, which is used for treating and waterproofing leather some just some nitrile exam gloves just uh i don't know so i'll stay clean hair dryer to apply some heat so i'm gonna get the gloves on get the grease opened and uh, we'll see how this goes oh i should have done that cliche youtube like boom gloves are on thing but i didn't think about it final piece of equipment you'll need is a flathead screwdriver or can opener this thing is tiny i don't even think it'll work so we'll see if it doesn't work we'll restart once again, this is a from home quarantine video. So for everyone dealing with this uh, coronavirus right now, hang in there. Thank you to all the uh, medical professionals and everyone that's helping everybody, essential employees, stuff like that. I'm gonna try to do this with my left hand. I don't even have anything to apply, so I'm just gonna use my fingers. Ah, I thought that would be liquid. It's actually kind of like a hard gel that was a surprise so i don't think i need much all right working around a little bit just start with a tiny bit and That's weird. See that spot right there? Doesn't matter how much I put on there. Doesn't do anything to that one spot. I wonder why. If you know why it does that, let me know in the comments below. So I think I got a good even coating. I'm going to try to wipe off like the excess. Massage it in, whatever. That is so weird, that one spot. So, I'm going to actually take this glove off and apply some heat. And uh, I'm not quite done yet, but as you can see, it's starting to dry. And I think if I wait... Um, and go back if there's areas that are different colorations if I want to fix that if I even care um, I'm not really sure that I do um, but you can go back and I think add more and do it again later but we're gonna continue here and 
I don't want to get it too hot because I don't know if they use like any glue when they're uh, putting this thing together. So I don't want to affect that at all. Um, so it's still cool to the touch, just enough to, uh, I guess, dry it up. That spot right there just, I'm stumped. <laughs> Interesting. Alright guys, I'm going to call that done. Nice dark color. Let's compare it to another Bark River sheath here. So, I don't really know the effects um, or how waterproof it is, but uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Overall, very pleased. The color is awesome. This thing looks nice. It's a lot softer already. So I'm going to let it sit out and dry for a little while. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you do it differently, I want to hear that. If you think I did this correct or wrong, please let me know as well. If you do one of these yourself, let me know how it turns out. I just picked this up on uh, Amazon. Not too expensive. I think it was like 12 bucks for this. And it'll do somewhere between, you know, 400,000 and a million sheaths. And uh, pretty pleased with the product. Thanks again for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time.